So this picture is not my mistake. This patient has a BMI of 50. And as well, one of the problem with this patient is that the mass is all around the spine, significant mass. So this is a lateral view, as you see, really nothing visible. After we tape the patient, the finding is getting a little better and we do more taping and all of a sudden you start seeing the anatomy and uh, practically in the lateral picture as well you see that uh, the anatomy is visible like this uh, the pedicle spinal process but the quality of the picture is not great it's with positioning and taping we are able to improve some of these pictures and as you see now once we are uh, able to see enough of the anatomy, we uh, mark the trajectories in both CP and lateral. And one of the first steps that we do, we put a Jamshid in, we uh, take a bone marrow to mix with our biologic. Then we approach the discs. And in this patient, practically all our instruments sitting directly on the skin in a very uh, significant way. And here we have the probe, which is stimulating, the tip of it is stimulating the tissue at 3 milliamp in the Cambin triangle, and then we enter Cambin triangle, and then we use a dilator that help us to enter the disc you see the end of the cava is a little bending. We have to correct that before we remove it. And even though the quality of the picture seems to be poor, we see the posterior aspect of the, the bone, anterior aspect of the bone. Um, once we want to put the pedicle screw, we get a better picture for vertebral body. But now we do the discectomy, prepare the end plates, and we put the first cage in. Now, after the first cage is inserted, in this we look at the pictures and uh, modify it so we see the pedicle of the 4, 5, and S1 better. Then, in this view, we put the K wires in the 4 and S1. 